Uh, Y'all can't see it, but I started a live video and I was trying to do this. So here, here's that. All right. Let me scroll this up. There's that. And for you, I'll just pull it down. All right. So here's that. This was yesterday. That's today. And then get out of there. It's 11.03.14. So 11.03, I can't see it, 11.14, 14 October 2019, there we go, I was trying to say all that, all right, so put this in your pocket, all right, so now that's closed in, this is closed in, this is about a Panasonic RX5080 that I bought way back in 2013, and this is the sale page that I have for it. So there is a picture of it, and it's just it won't show the rest of that. This ended uh, October 29, 2013, October 29, 2013, 1939, whatever. And then just going on down, um, here's the description. Uh, physical news, a punctured left speaker real piece picture three does not affect the performance. White color damage to the right speaker, see picture six. General dirtiness and wear and tear that you expect from a 1980s boombox. The antenna is complete, no missing segments, the battery compartment is clean, although I have not tested with batteries. Please examine pictures, yada yada yada, and using the, I'm including the original power cable. Woo! Okay, so I just wanted to show you that. Alright, and then uh, let me wide out with this camera here, because I'm doing two cameras. Alright, so there's that, then I just want to angle this down here to show that Yesterday was the day that um, yesterday was the day that I went and got through all the um, stuff in the garage and finally found this. I've been looking for this for about three years since I removed here. This is a Marantz uh, PMD. Gosh, here, Marantz PMD 340. Okay, so let y'all see that briefly. It'll focus, but anyway, okay, so but without getting it all into that, like I said, I'm going to get this thing, let me pick up, here's the other camera, see, there's the other camera, okay, great, so, I'm going to pick this up on the tripod, uh, I guess I just have to do it like this, just trying to get this to <laughs> come in here to the bedroom, all right, so now, you set the, this tripod down, all right? Step in front of the tripod, okay? All right, so now, see here, that's not... Okay, so I need to put this on the tripod because there's no <laughs> baloney about this. I really have been having this thing here quite some time, so I thought I'd just show you yeah, it's been up there on the shelf for quite some time, and just, just let you know, I see her. Is this wide out? No. Go the other way. That's as far as it goes. All right, so, yes, I'm going to actually have to get over here <coughs> and pick up the back side of this radio, which is, what is this radio? This goes to something. That's a Pioneer SK31, long-term project. Anybody need one of these? Needs new batteries. Works. It had good batteries in it. And we have a some papers. Lord knows. Here's a brand new in the box LX500 <laughs> complete set, but I never got around to using it. And then here is this box that I've never opened. Okay, so. Here it is. Finally got it off the shelf. Uh, yeah, all right. So now I got to move all these cameras and me and that. I'm going to leave you while I move this into the other room. Okay, great. So now there's that in the other room. Now let me get both camera tripods. All right. So here's this one. This is a crazy mix up of stuff I'm trying to manipulate two cameras on tripods oh that one just fell okay and let's see here pick this up pick this one up 
All right, so there we go. So now, well, I can't see this, but there's that stuff there. This stuff there. All right, so yes, yeah, so I'm walking with two cameras, both mounted on tripods, and just showing that stuff like that. All right, so having fun yet? Let's walk into here. Just like I normally walk into this room every day of my life. Okay, so here I can't. Here, can you see me in the mirror? There, I'm carrying two tripods. Got it? Here's one, here's the other one. Got it? Okay. See us in the mirror? <laughs> here's another mirror. There we go. Okay, so having too much fun, aren't we? Okay. I got cables. And, you know, as I close this door here, I got more cables, all right? And I got boom boxes. I got zillions and zillions and zillions of boom boxes, all right? But here's the one here on the floor, which I'll set this down, all right? And uh, I'm going to try to keep this under 15 minutes, so I have to, because the other thing here, this camera here, this camera here breaks off at 16 minutes and 23 seconds. So, I'll set this down, all right? Angle this to the floor, like wide out. That's as far wide out as it goes, all right? And this one here, uh, angle this one down to the floor. There we go, to the floor, that's a good shot. And, uh, let's see here. Oh gosh, what am I tripping on? So I can see, see it in that one there, so again, here's this uh, distressed box. Got my scissors handy, all right, so, so there's this uh, address thing. I just don't need that to show it off. Okay, so now, let me, and I just briefly saw that it was like about six minutes or so on that thing there, so, and, uh, anyway, so, the reason why I'm doing this is because, uh, tomorrow is the day that the, uh, the people come and get the, uh, what do you call this stuff, they, they get the recycle, so, another plastic bag of a power cord, like, I really don't need that, but, there it is. Here's this. So, yeah, it's bubble wrap. Not a, <laughs> I just kind of threw it on here. Okay, so here it is in all its glory. That was fast. Okay, so that, this, this, that, that. So I'll just probably throw all that away. That's not really worth much. Okay, so here it is in all its glory. Let y'all see it on the camera first, and y'all over here hope you can see it. And it's uh anyway, this is a Panasonic RX5080. Okay, it's pretty simple. It's got uh, your volume, balance, and tone. Then over here you have your line in radio and tape power off. You have your ambience, stereo, and mono. You have your metal, chrome, and normal. And you have your AM, FM band. And this one's a lot dirtier. <laughs> here's the puncture they were talking about. And here's the, you know, the, what, war off there. And, uh, it's just generally got a little, I don't know, up here. And, well, let's see here. So it said it, and of course, I don't know who can see this, but now that's interesting. Why is there tape on the back of this? I guess that just kind of worked for them. Who knows? Because I guess that's a good way to keep from losing it. All right, so you get a power cord. This is from 2013, so I can't remember where the power cord goes. It goes in the back. Check the voltage. It's set for 100. And and whatever okay heard something so there's a red light on okay, 
a red light and it's on line in. So. <laughs> Tonight at Nebraska Furniture Mart. Texting rules for current marketing messages sent via automatic text message. Terms and conditions at textrules.us. Message and data rates may apply. Yeah, Attention yeah, anyone yeah. interested in a money-making career in fitness as a personal yeah, yeah, trainer. Yeah, yeah. There is a massive need right now for personal trainers. The ISSA, the global leader in personal fitness certification, is guaranteeing you will get a job. That's right. Since there are more jobs available than personal trainers, once you're certified, ISSA guarantees you will get a job. Just text CHAMP to 246810 now to get started for just $25. Gyms are desperate for qualified trainers and are paying top dollar. And for a limited time, the ISSA is letting you get started on their number one rated personal trainer certification program for just $25. Just text CHAMP to 246810 now to get your special link and get started on your certification for just $25. Text CHAMP to 246810. Don't wait another day to start your career in fitness. Get certified. Tape is down at the bottom. Good. It was just stuck from being there so long. So I've hit... That works. It's actually rolling along smartly. Hit stop. The other one does as well. Let's hit play. We get no sound. It's not rolling. It's not paused. Uh oh. All right, let's try it this way. We have a visual tape. Hit play. Nothing. Hit fast forward. Okay, so no play. Hmm. Does that? It won't play. It'll fast forward. It'll rewind, but it won't play. And the pause is not on. Well, that's interesting. So let's go and see if the capstan is turning in play mode. Cap stand is turning in play mode. Uh, Down there is for the game. And go for a sure thing when it comes to satisfying. Well, that's interesting. Let's see here. So, cap stand is turning. Okay. Well, another mystery. I wonder if it's missing a belt or if it's simply bent. And I wait. Okay, so the cap stand is turning, but the okay, the cap stand is turning, but the pinch roller is not being touched. So the heads are not coming up fully to engage the pinch roller to allow it to turn. So there is an issue there with the mechanics of the tape deck, and that's all I know. Well, anyway, you've heard it play, you've seen it work. And that's all I can tell you. I don't know anything more about it. Okay, oh, I've had too much fun. Well, there it is. So I just I can clean up my shelves a bit. How much time have I got on this camera here? What have I got on here? 13 minutes. Okay, well, again, uh, I just shut this off. Good day, bye bye. Hope you enjoyed. I've had too much fun. There they all are. Okay, so here I just. Let y'all see you one another. Okay, so there you all are. Good day, bye bye. Hope you enjoyed another tape deck to repair. Bye bye.